have what the Lord has done in your life, my dear sister. Amen. 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 Good evening. How are you? Good. So I am. I'm a singer, a song, and uh, it's my privilege to travel across Canada and meet this people from this lovely country. I'm from Quebec, but I'm a very nice person. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, I want to tell you about a man who was driving around and around in Montreal. Has anyone ever been to Montreal? Have you seen our parking signs? They're, they don't make sense. We like to give tickets to people from outside the province, so we make them really confusing. And so this man was driving around and around, and he couldn't find a parking spot. And finally, he was so frustrated, he said, Lord, if you give me a parking spot, I'll give $1,000 to the church. And just then, a parking spot opened up. It was miraculous. And the guy said, it's okay, Lord, I found a parking spot by myself. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Now, how many people are actually from British Columbia? Oh my word, that means a lot of us are aliens. Yeah, that's great. So, um, I tell you, so it's good to see some men. There's some, some very nice looking men who, I think they think a lot because there's not a lot of hair out there. The grass doesn't grow where there's a lot of activity. It used to be mop and blow, it used to be a head and shoulders, now it's mop and blow, right? Yeah. And uh, I, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. I came from Quebec to British Columbia and I resettled. And I settled in the uh, in Burnaby Heights where I can see the ocean and I can see the, the mountains. And um, I haven't done the gross grind yet, but pray for me. And so this is a song I wrote about the beauty of God's creation.
that he can deliver you in, and he can deliver you through, and he will be faithful, and he will be strong in your life, and faithful is he who has called you, and he will do it. Amen? And I want to thank you this Done. 
need to welcome Jesus. Let's give him the biggest applause. Let's welcome him.
sake of the whole world, came down from heaven and was born of the Virgin Mary and became flesh. He was man and he walked among us. He was loved personified. Jesus touched and healed many people, he caused the blind to see and the deaf to hear. He made the lame to walk again. He even raised many from the dead. And he did this all out of love. And even still he was hated. And he was despised. And he was rejected by men. He was mocked. And he was accused. But he bore our iniquities. And he carried our infirmities. The people decided he should be put to death. So they sent him to Pontius Pilate. There he was bound to a post, and he was whipped with a cat of nine tails, an instrument of torture that tore the flesh from his body. Crucify him!
given glory. We're going to sing Jesus has risen from the dead. Satan is in trouble. I tell you, when you open your eyes in the morning, 
Satan knows it's going to be a bad day. Yeah. Because yeah. Reuben just proclaims the Lord wherever he goes. He loves the Lord. Yeah. And he also loves scripture. All right, but he has a scripture for you today. So yeah. hold on. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. James 1.17 And this is Kate. Kate is Ruben's full time school teacher and her pair. Nanny and her watch on her parents. She does so much. She's from the Czech Republic. From the Czech Republic. So we thank the Lord for her. God bless you, Kate. Well done, you guys. Let's give them a round of applause. And Rachel is an English lady. She's born in England. Thank the Lord for Rachel. Part of her testimony is that she acquired a degree in electronic engineering and also an MBA in business. But she wasn't fulfilled in the corporate world and she wanted more. She wanted to fulfill her destiny. And look what the Lord has done. We just thank the Lord for that. And Christophe, Christophe was fairly new in the ministry. He's originally from Poland. Let's thank the Lord for first time. And Christoph, as you can hear, he's a great gift behind the keyboards. He's also got a degree in music, but we just thank God. He's also given God everything full time in the mission field. Let's thank the Lord for first time. Thank you, Christoph. And Zach. Zach is from your neighboring country, the U.S. of A. Thank the Lord for that. <laughs> we just thank the Lord for Zach's many gifts. Of course, his lovely bass voice that he's been blessed with. And also online and technically, he's a great person. Thank you, Zach. Now the leader and founder of Vinesong, you saw him earlier, but we want to give God the glory because Vinesong would not be here. You know, if you think of all the testimonies and how God's used this ministry, it's always fascinating me that it's because of obedience and faithfulness of one person. Look what God can do if we're obedient and faithful. And this man is a third generation missionary. He started and pastor churches in many nations around the world. He's well known as a worship leader and a songwriter. So God's given him the gift to compose most of the songs you hear us singing today and all the songs on our CDs out there that have blessed the body of Christ. He's got a great teaching ministry as well. He's counseled and have led so many people to have so many ministries today. He's a spiritual father to countless. We just thank the Lord for him. So let's appreciate Pastor John Lance.
went to a, to a conference, we were praying until the Lord spoke to me, ministered to me. Son, this is the time to release those natures. So I came close to my brother and I said, you know, we spoke shortly. My name is Pastor Gaston, ABC Link, the church is located at this place where we are. And I said, we have a gift for you. And I know my brother he is preparing, I know he's going on a long journey. He's preaching. People never heard the gospel. You know, if we don't reach out, Jesus will not come. To so it will not happen unless we continue to preach the gospel. And I do, I do believe you're coming into this ministry tonight is a prophetic moment and divine ordained time. You came here, brother, not because of what's happening, because God wanted you to be connected with our brethren, everyone around, and so we can be, can be able as a ministry city at Christ Church. So see of these devices, uh, we already have boxes wrapped at the back. To take you that, we value and we appreciate you, your ministry. You are going to China, we'll be here praying for you. You are going to all Asia, reaching out for a reason, for a purpose. May God indeed continue to bless your ministry. So here comes, this is just a symbol, but all the package will stay at the back with it for you. May God bless you. Amen. Pastor Gaston and the citywide uh, Christ Chapel. Um, we recognize that uh, his word is the power for salvation to those who believe. And we believe that this word of God, as it goes out to those who have yet to know the name of Jesus, to know him personally, that it will give them hope, it will give them peace, it will give them comfort and liberation from all the powers of darkness. And we thank God that uh, He has connected us uh, in a special way. These devices have been in this keeping for four years. And we have been using these devices to give to the people uh, in the places all over the nations. Uh, to bring them the word of God. We thank you. We thank you, uh, uh, Citywide, Christ Chapel, and Pastor Gaston for your church, for this partnership. We're going to sing. We're going to sing directly from the scripture, from Psalm 103. And you know, this psalm is for somebody here today. I don't know who it is for. I think for specific ones that are here tonight. But you might have felt a little bit low in your faith. You might have felt like I've reached a ceiling. And I, I need to be refreshed. Someone here can be a little bit tired. It's a spiritual kind of tiredness as well. But you're saying, Lord, I want to fly higher. I want to fly like an eagle. This is where I want to be. It's where I'm meant to be. So just be encouraged as we sing the reading from Psalm 103. And let the song just soak into your spirit. To lift you up. And if that was your prayer tonight, I pray that even in the song, that God will do it for you.
God is on Canada, in all of our nations, we need a move of the Holy Spirit, but it seems as if we want to tolerate and welcome everything but God. And so as we sing this song, Holy Spirit, fall afresh on this nation, on Canada, let it be your prayer, let it be your heart as we sing this.
at this meeting tonight and you're not a born again Christian, you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know, God doesn't want a religious relationship. He wants a relationship. He wants to walk with you, talk with you. He wants to be your friend. The Bible says we cannot come to the Father unless we come through His Son, Jesus. The Bible says we must be born again. And we don't know who's visiting here tonight. If you've never surrendered your life fully to Jesus, then He's got full reign of your life. And you need to make that commitment tonight. Come right forward. If you're under the age of 20 tonight, can you come to my left, your right? Come forward quickly. We need to pray for you guys. Come quickly. Come quickly. If you're under the age of 20, come to the front quickly. Come to my, my left, your right. Come quickly. I'm just going to agree with you guys in prayer. And I'll say to my hands, all the young children, the young kids, and the twin. Just lift your hands to the Lord. You need His power, you need His presence. Thank you. 